Meeting Points is a, a festival that uh, we organize uh, through different cities in the Arab world mainly. Uh, and we did six editions uh, of this festival. Uh, and every two years we have a different curator. And this uh, edition, uh, Okwi uh, decided to have the theme on civic imagination, which actually was a topic that was chosen before the revolution started. And it's about how the people, how the artists are representing the, their imagination on the civic how the people uh, imagine different civic. Le texte s'est construit comme tous les textes depuis plus de 30 ans. Euh, c'est une création collective, euh, on a une idée, un sujet, mais on n'a pas de texte. Le texte n'est pas un point de départ, c'est un point d'arrivée. C'est un théâtre de réflexion et d'action. Ça ne peut pas être un théâtre rhétorique seulement. C'est euh, sur le pouvoir lui-même, sur la dictature, sur la famille euh, du tyran. C'est ça qui est euh, euh, l'objet d'une espèce de radioscopie euh, pour entrer dans les détails du clan mafieux qui a régné pendant 23 ans en Tunisie. C'est un spectacle nettement contre Ben Ali et le spectacle a été censuré pendant deux mois en Tunisie. Tous nos spectacles auraient pu s'appeler Amnésia, parce que tous parlent de la mémoire. Quand un pays n'a pas de mémoire, quand sa mémoire a été étouffée, écrasée, c'est un pays qui n'existe pas. Donc euh, nous crions depuis des années et des années pour que la mémoire individuellement, la mémoire collective, la mémoire historique ne soit pas écrasée, piétinée par la dictature. We come from a country where we have to deal with a very difficult situation. Of course, uh, it is not something we wish, but somebody who really wants to overcome uh, this situation will find new strategy and the necessity to work in this situation. Our work is very political and the mean, uh, it is a production of meanings. And it's not about a market, it's not even about going outside, but it's really thinking about our own relation in some particular situations. In our travail plastique, we have souvent eu recours à la fiction. Non pas pour mettre en doute une vérité ou l'approcher, mais pour interroger les images. I think maybe the common point between the Arab revolutions and the situation in Greece and we can say in Europe too and uh, in the United States uh, where people are in the streets too. It's this idea, I think that it's a really a moment where uh, people cannot accept this cynical situation anymore. And they, there is something of the self-esteem and dignity that is stronger than the fear or than the situation. Cairo, my city, our revolution, as the title says, it's, um, it is about the revolution, very much so. It's uh, almost a diary of the revolution. I didn't actually try to extract myself from the moment or from the revolution. This is not this is not a sort of objective book or an assessment. This is very much a partisan book. This is a book that sees itself as being part of the revolution, as being in fact an act within the revolution.
if we're talking about the 18 days specifically, then yes, that saw, it saw everybody united on one great aim, which was to get rid of the regime. Um, and when we say everybody, I mean people from all social classes. So you had the people who were really extremely poor, who did not know where their next food was coming from. Um, and you also had people who owned businesses, who owned factories, but who could no longer function properly because of the corruption, because this was a regime that was actually really trying to destroy everything that was good in the country. It was incredible because of course because, of course, we <laughs> believed at that moment that we had actually got rid of the entire regime. So there was the symbolism of Mubarak and his sons uh, leaving, and that was a great victory. Um, but there was also a belief that as of tomorrow, we would begin to build our new society. Nous, nous pratiquons un, un, un théâtre citoyen depuis 40 ans. Un théâtre qui témoigne, un théâtre qui critique, qui dénonce, un théâtre de la résistance, un théâtre qui s'occupe de l'homo tunisianus, de l'homme tunisien. Euh, et quand nous partons au Japon, en Argentine, aux États-Unis d'Amérique, eh bien, euh, euh, nous ressentons à quel point une histoire tunisienne peut toucher euh, euh, des spectateurs du monde entier. I think, I guess, apart from chronicling and, um, and recording and making sure that things don't get lost, you're also, as a writer, you're, you're actually trying to articulate what the street is saying and what the street wants and to articulate the feelings of the revolution at any moment and to, to propose ideas um, and to dig into the past for moments which have uh, a, a similarity to what you are living through today. I was looking at um, some Greek things and um, I noticed that a lot of people now talk about Pericles and we do the same. Now it's the time where uh, people are imagining a uh, different future actually. The future is constructed right now. Uh, and I think arts and contemporary arts can play a diff uh, an essential role in this because the artists are imagining uh, a different civic, a different, uh, a different society and a different system. So either revolutions uh, succeeded or didn't succeed, it's still it's, it's much better than the, the case before. For me, it's, it was very important always in my work, this idea of dreaming that you can dream. And for me, all these people are related with this relation to dream and because they want to change something in the world that we are living. So at the moment, and this is what I feel so incredible, people can risk their life to say, I don't want to accept this anymore. On est interdit de médias, on est interdit de télé, on est interdit souvent de tourner à l'intérieur du pays. Donc euh, la, baga la bagarre continue très fort entre nous et, et le pouvoir, euh, avec Ben Ali et avec Bourguiba. Et j'ai bien peur que cette bagarre va devenir encore plus grande avec les islamistes aujourd'hui qui sont au pouvoir. La révolution est juste beginning. Et la révolution dans le monde arabe, je pense, est partie d'un mouvement global, vraiment. Really to create change, um, that people, particularly young people everywhere, can see that things cannot continue as they are. The planet cannot stand it, the systems uh, within which people live cannot stand it. And so really, even though it sounds quite dramatic, but the young people have to think of ways to save the world. And the revolutions in the Arab world are part of that. <laughs>